Dear students, welcome on behalf of the International Relations Office, University of Maribor. We are Alexandra and Maya, your Erasmus coordinators. By now, you know us through our email communication. There were really a lot, a lot of messages between us, so we are really happy that uh, the whole application procedure is behind us and that you are finally all here in Maribor. Do you agree? We are very proud that you chosen Maribor for your exchange. This city will be your uh, future home in next few months. Studying abroad offers a lot of new opportunities. You will gain new knowledge, new skills, meet new friends and discover our culture. Your decision to study abroad is to our opinion the most beautiful period in students' life. We are here to help you not only to have fun but to also learn as much as possible. In next few minutes, please follow welcome speech of our rector, Professor Zdravko Kacic, and after that, our Erasmus Institutional Coordinator, Mladen Kralic, will also greet you. Dear students, dear Erasmus Plus coordinators, it is my great pleasure to welcome you at the University of Maribor. We are about to start the academic year 2020-2021 at the University. I am glad to greet you on this occasion and I am happy that you decided to be mobile even in this difficult time of pandemic. At the University of Maribor, we are very proud to expect 264 Erasmus Plus students from 23 program countries as well as 33 Erasmus Plus students from six partner countries in this semester, so altogether almost 300 students. You took the decision to spend the winter semester at our university, which is the second largest university in Slovenia. We have about 13,500 enrolled students and 1,800 staff members at 17 departments in six towns of Slovenia who do their best to meet the expectations and hopes of the young people who entrust their higher education to us. Some of you are going to spend the semester at another town in Slovenia. As said, we are present in six towns all over the country. As I am informed, most of you came from Spain, 111, Portugal, 32, Germany, 22, Czech Republic, 18, and Turkey, 17, but also from other countries with an extreme variety of places of origin, for example, Ukraine, 13, Egypt, 8. Most of you choose Faculty of Economics and Business, 91, Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Computer Science and Informatics, 68, Faculty of Arts, 27, and Faculty of Mechanical and Civil Engineering, 25. However, numbers and statistics should not be the main purpose of your, of your stay here in Maribor. The person next to you, with a healthy distance at this time, of course, if he or she is not from the same universities as you are, might be your future fellow, researcher, business partner, or even spouse. You never know what comes out of Erasmus Plus Mobility. It is up to you to make the best of it. We will do our best to support you in this and I personally hope that you will have only good memories of our university and of Maribor, maybe right because of the very special and unique situation of the pandemic. Maybe one day you will return for a continuation of your education or even for another purpose. We have the oldest wine in the world, a great ski slope with Women's World Cup and in summer the mountain bike downhill World Cup, although it seems not to make any difference anymore if you come in winter or summer due to the climate change. Please enjoy responsibly, keep a healthy distance but a warm heart and understanding for your fellow people. Again, welcome at the sunny side of the Alps, welcome to Maribor and welcome to our university. I wish you success in studies, satisfaction in the student life and happiness. Thank you. Dear Erasmus students, welcome at the University of Maribor also on my behalf. You have got uh, the welcome words of our rector and you will receive very useful information also from my colleague. My task is to welcome you, to wish you all the best, to make all of the experience of Erasmus that have been made by many generations before you and many generations to come. Allow me to give you some hints how you make your stay here very successful and pleasant. Please keep on track regarding the COVID-19 rules that we will publish on our homes, uh, homepage all the time. 
uh, inform on the faculty how is the regime of lectures. You will have some live lectures, you will have some uh, online lectures. Please keep on track, be informed, follow your emails and also keep your heads up. By coming to Maribor you have already proven that nothing can hinder you from developing your life and making your Erasmus experience. If everything goes wrong, you will not see me again and I wish you that. Thank you very much. We are together again and now it's time to present you some statistics about you. In new semester, we host total 264 students from 23 different countries from European Union. If we check first three places, first place are sharing students from Spain, at the second place are students from Portugal and on the third one are students from France. If we pay attention about the situation on the faculties, the most of you will attend Faculty of Economics and Business. Second most popular faculty is Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences and at the third place is Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. We have in winter semester also st students from different countries around the world, which are not part of the European Union. The total number of this student is 33 from 6 different countries. At first place are students from Ukraine, at the second place are students from Bosnia and Herzegovina and Egypt. The most of you will attend also Faculty of Economics and Business, at the second place is Faculty of Arts and at the third place is Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. In following minutes, I will present you some useful information about your registration process at the faculties. Please pay attention when and where will you be your first meeting with your faculty coordinator. For Faculty of Economics and Business, the coordinator is Ms. Sanya Kotsian. She will let you know about the meeting and other details on your email address but you can also contact her on her email address as well as an additional address fab.international at um.sr For Faculty of Elect Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences, the coordinators are Professor Marian Mernik and Ms. Barbara Ferbeger. Meeting will be held on 12th of October and you will receive all necessary information on your emails. For Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, the coordinators are Professor Natasha Wojica Herzog and Professor Julia Wollmeier Wall. The meeting will be held on 2nd October at 10 at the faculty in classroom B 304 and 305. For Faculty of Arts, Coordinators are Professor Tomasz Unic and Alenka Marosic. You will receive all necessary information on your email because meeting will be known later. Faculty of Civil Engineering, Transportation Engineering and Architecture. The coordinators are Ms. Sabina Molej, Ms. Damiana Zlatolas, Professor Kaja Pogacar and lecturer Beno Mesaric. They will also let you know about all details on your email address and you can also contact them on the email provided. Faculty of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Coordinator is Assistant Teacher Lazar Pavic. The meeting will be held on 12th of October at 10 o'clock at the faculty. For further information, you can also uh, contact him through email. For Faculty of Education, Coordinator is Ye Jelena Krivograd and she will be organizing a meeting today at 1 o'clock in the Zoom application. For Faculty of Law, coordinators are Sus Professor Susanna Kralic and Ms. Rebecca Lidic. Meeting will be held on 5th October at the faculty, but you will also receive all necessary information on your email address. Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering uh, is Professor Peter Kreinz and he will also let you know all further details on email address. 
For Faculty of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, coordinators are Professor Jan Podlesnik and Ms. Monika Schke. You can contact them on provided email address and they will also let you know all necessary details through email. Faculty of Logistics is located in Celje. Coordinator is Vid Mlenik. He is available on provided email address. For Faculty of Criminal Justice and Security, coordinator is Professor Alex Bucar Ruchman. He is also available through email address and will contact you with all necessary details. The faculty is located in Ljubljana. Faculty of Tourism is located in Brežice. Coordinator is Professor Mitya Gorana. You can contact him through provided email. For Faculty of Energy Technology, which is located in Krško and Velenia, coordinators are Professor Brigitta Ferčec and Ms. Jernea Klemenčić. They are available on provided emails. COVID-19 has affected universities and university life in the last few months. We have implemented extensive measures to protect students and staff adjusted the study process and tried to support students in every way possible. The first priority has always been and will continue to be the health and safety of the University of Maribor community. Dear students, to stay safe, please take into account safety measures while entering public surfaces and, and institutions. Do not forget masks and hand disinfections as well as ensuring proper distance. At all times, follow instructions from the faculties regarding the meetings, lectures and other obligations. Make sure to make an appointment before visiting the individual faculty if it is requested. Online meetings or phone meetings with our staff are possible only by prior arrangement. A lot of useful information can be found on our webpage designed especially for the purposes of informing students regarding the COVID-19 situation. Do not forget to wash your hands. It takes 20 seconds for washing or disinfecting. You can sing a song in your mind or out loud. Here are some suggestions. We are happy to say the collaboration between University of Maribor and Office for Foreigners is very good and that is why they are ready to organize special support for Erasmus students for obtaining residence permit. You already received an email with all information and documents that are necessary to fill in. We will organize an online information meeting where you will be able to do your formalities for your residence permit. It will be a Zoom meeting where we will guide you through the procedure and you will be able to ask questions. When all the documentation will be prepared, you will submit it at the University of Maribor building at the entrance. Do not forget to wear a mask when entering the building. We will submit the docu documents to the Office for Foreigners and you will be contacted from them if necessary. So, who needs to obtain residence permit in Office for Foreigners? If you are a holder of Visa D or C and you live in a private accommodation, you don't need to submit the application, only a photocopy of your passport and a declaration of honor to report your address while studying in Slovenia. If you are not a holder of Visa D or C, and no matter where you come from, you have to apply for residence permit through the Office for Foreigners, but please note that there are different forms for EU or non-EU citizens. I hope all this information were helpful for you but you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us or write an email. For those who would like to impress Slovene girls, boys, professors, or you are just interested in learning a new language, here is an opportunity to attend Slovene language course. Slovene language course will be online and students will get invitation to submit the application on 12th of October. Slovene language course will start at the end of October and places are not limited. Since you will need a lot of batteries to be a successful student, ESN Maribor and ESN Shom are here to help you to charge the batteries by offering many free time activities. 
During your stay here, please contact them anytime. After their presentation, you can also see a short video videos about Erasmus experience in Mariupol. First of all, I want to say hello and welcome to each one of you. My name is Masha, I'm coming from ESN SHOM organization and in a few minutes I will represent to you what are we doing and how can we help you. So, what do you need to know about us? Our office is at Stuck, where we usually organize different kind of events. So, we can also help you with food coupons and each one of you will get 20 or 21 or 22 coupons per month, depends on the number of work days. So, one coupon per every work day. If you don't use them, they will transmit to the next month. You can use two coupons per day with four hours in between. More about food coupons in an after video. Beside that, we also organize different kinds of events. For example, um, international dinner, welcome party and other uh, hiking trips in nature. But this year, because of the COVID situation, all of the events will be adjusted. If you have any more questions about anything, you can contact us through email or phone call every Monday and Wednesday from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. Hope to see you soon. Hello Erasmus students, my name is Domen and I'm Nico. Uh, on behalf of us and the whole ESN Maribor team, we would like to welcome you to our city. And we hope you enjoy your experience here. Uh, so this semester will be a bit different and a bit more challenging than usual, but we will try to make it as good as possible so you will be able to enjoy your Erasmus to the fullest. Currently the restrictions about coronavirus and gathering and so on are changing every day, so we are following it and with that in mind, we will try to organize whatever we will be able to. Right now, we are preparing some online challenges for you that will go through our Discord channel. And after that, we are hopefully going to be able to have some live events as well. Uh, we just don't know yet what and, and, and on what dates, because as I said, the restrictions are changing daily. So just follow us on Facebook or Instagram and our WhatsApp groups where we will update you regularly about everything. Um, we are also planning to do a Slovenia trip and Nico will tell you a bit more about it. So Slovenia trip is probably going to take place from 16th to 18th of October or a week after that. We'll see, we'll get to you on the dates. But what exactly is Slovenia trip? So. The package you're going to be paying for includes uh, free transport uh, for all three days of Slovenia trip, accommodations and three meals a day, and uh, many entrance fees. But where exactly are we going? On the first day we're going to see Vindga Gorge, which is a nice national monument 
Uh, then we're gonna go to Lake Blid, take a nice ride with the boats, and after that, you're gonna have some free time around this very scenic area. Of course, the boats and all are included in the price. After that, we go to Lake Bohin, where we spend the night, have a nice campfire in the evening, and the next day we move on, and we go to the famous Postoina Cave. Uh, there's a little train to take you inside, a wonderful place to go. After that, we visit Prediama Castle, uh, an old medieval castle built inside a rock. After that, we go to a viewpoint where you can see the entire Slovenian coastline, as short as it is. And on the third day, we visit the old uh, medieval town of Piran. After that, we go to Portoroz, where if the weather serves us, we have a swim, and then we slowly return to Marimor. I'm Mariana Patricia Lera, I'm from Argentina, and I study economics at the University of Maribor. In Maribor you can also try really good food because they have traditional foods and also you can try food from other countries. If you come to Maribor you have to try the really good ice cream that they have and also don't forget to try the typical Slovenian dessert called Krepsnita. Before I came to Maribor I was a little bit scared because of the language and also because I came from really far away but I realized here that people are really open and friendly and you can communicate just with English. Before I came to Maribor I looked some pictures to know how the nature is here but I realized when I was here that it's even more beautiful than in the pictures. I'm Sofia Kovacheva, I'm a master's student at the Economical Faculty at the University of Maribor and I'm coming from Macedonia. During these years of study, Maribor became my second home. People here are really friendly, open-minded and ready to help. As a big sports fan, added value of studying at the University of Maribor was participating in different sports events such as the University Sports League. I was a team member of the women volleyball team at the Economical Faculty. The league was not only about competing, but also about making friends and having fun. Maribor offers many opportunities to attend at different culture events. For me, special experience was listening to the opera at the Maribor City Park. I am pretty sure that everyone in Maribor can find a culture event to remember. The university offers many opportunities for students to participate in different projects that are organized from the university in cooperation with companies and organizations. Through this, students can get knowledge and experience which will help them with the future employment. During my studies, I started working in a company in the field of finance and controlling, which was the first step to my employment. As you saw, students have a great time while studying in Slovenia. We are a small country, but there is a lot of things to see and do. Erasmus Exchange is something you will never forget. Take it from us. We are only sorry we didn't use even more opportunities when we were students. We wish you a successful semester and hope that your stay in Maribor will be an unforgettable experience that you might even return one day. Thank you and see you around.